Hi everyone, I have interesting news for all the self-publishers out there. I was almost going to sleep and close my laptop when I noticed that KDP was asking me to check whether my content was AI generated or not. To be precise, I was uploading a new book and I noticed the new checkbox in the upload form. So apparently KDP did something that I didn't see coming so soon. They updated their guideline including AI generated books and content. So it's very interesting. Let's read together what they state. Artificial intelligence content, text, images or translations. We require you to inform us of AI generated content, text, images or translation when you publish a new book or make edits to and republish an existing book through KDP. Okay, you are not required to disclose AI assisted content. We distinguish between AI generated and AI assisted content as follows. So they distinguish two categories of AI use, AI generated content and AI assisted content. Very interesting. We define AI generated content as text, images or translations created by an AI based tool. If you use an AI based tool to create the actual content, whether text, images or translations, it is considered AI generated, even if you applied substantial edit afterwards. This is interesting, even if you applied substantial edits afterwards. AI assisted, if you created the content yourself and used AI based tools to edit, refine, error check or otherwise improve that content, whether text or images, then it is considered AI assisted and not AI generated. Similarly, if you use an AI based tool to brainstorm and generate ideas, but ultimately created text or images yourself, this is also considered AI assisted and not AI generated. It is not necessary to inform us of the use of such tools or processes. This is interesting. You are responsible for verifying that all AI generated and or AI assisted content adheres to all content guidelines. That's fair enough. For example, to confirm an AI based tool did not create content based on copyrighted works, you are required to review and edit any AI tool outputs. So this is the tricky part. Let's start with the main distinction AI generated and AI assisted. As far as I got, you are not required to state if you use AI tools, let's say ChatGPT, to assist you like for brainstorming, generate ideas and that kind of stuff or to fix, I don't know, typos, grammar errors or stuff like that. Okay, so this is very interesting. AI generated, we define AI generated content as text, images or translations created by any AI based tool. They are basically saying ChatGPT and Midjourney here above everything else, I believe. So if you are using ChatGPT or Midjourney to create the actual content, and I'm referring to high content and low content books in particular, you are required to mark the checkbox. This content is AI generated. They are not saying that just because it is AI generated, then they, it's, it's forbidden or they are going to uh, remove it or something. So. It is something that apparently they just don't, they just want to know if it is AI generated. And let's let's go back later to this point. If it is AI assisted, then you don't need to do anything. And this is actually a very good news, but nothing really changed because I believe that everyone in some capacity is already using AI to assist in content creation. And this is the best way to proceed at the moment, of course. It is not necessary to inform us of the use of such tools or processes, which is nice. You are responsible for verifying that all AI generated assisted content adheres to all content guidelines. And this is, of course, our responsibility. Basically, we must always check the content and, for example, check whether the content is true or false. And I believe this is the tricky part because they say to confirm an AI based tool did not create content based on copyrighted work. But I mean, of course they did. Even Midjourney, I think they used all the images they could find on the web. There is not an effective way, I think, to select just the images without copyright.
so we know of course that the, especially the images are based on copyrighted works but they say you are required to review and edit any ai tool outputs which basically sounds like a good and bad news basically kdp is saying to us okay it's 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 you it's not me i mean it's it's your responsibility you are uploading something you are absolutely sure you are not violating any copyright so if we found that you published something which was copyrighted then it's your fault and i suspect in that case you are violating of course the kdp guidelines and then they will ban your book ban your account and all those kind of stuff so how can i be sure that any images or text doesn't violate any existing copyright i think for the images we can't be sure there is a function in google images when we can upload our images and get all the similar result so that could be one possible way another way for text i mean it could be of course to check for plagiarism but if i publish a book using ChatGPT, let's say and then another publisher publish a book in the same niche the same topic with the same chapters i believe the content will be very similar and probably the plagiarism check won't be enough like to, to they, they won't see the match because my content is too new for the plagiarism check in order to work properly but if someone like reports the book then it is copyright violation possibly so it's dangerous yeah it is dangerous and uh, it is even more dangerous for images yeah i believe so honestly also why they want me to like let them know if the content is AI generated I think that is just my opinion they could start you know to to to, to get data from the KDP publishers they may I don't know in one month six month one year they may insert a banner perhaps like uh, you know this book this content is AI generated or partially AI generated for the customers so they know what 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 they are buying because of course Amazon wants the customer to be happy and uh, someone might not be happy knowing that the content is AI generated because someone perhaps they don't want to I don't know support like AI generated content they want to support a real artist and that kind of stuff and they don't want to buy something they don't support so this is something that definitely might happen I don't know if it's sooner or later this might hurt like our books yeah it might hurt our books I don't think because of the algorithm but I think that if this disclaimer is going to happen for real then someone might just not want to buy our book and eventually this could have a negative impact on the ranking as well I would suggest everyone like in this very moment and at this phase to just use AI assisted content for the moment at least uh, uh, until we will see what happens for real and if, this, if someone will be banned as well because for now I don't know like of anyone being banned for using AI generated content but this is all new I also did a video like less than one month ago about uh, uh, the content guidelines and the use of mid journey so i suggest you to go back and check in that video because that might have more uh, insights i'm also going to create a new video like very soon to mix all together and state where we are now and what we can do so make sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know what you think like how do you interpret this new artificial intelligence content guideline officially released by KDP something that I really didn't see it coming very soon at least they say something they could have also just not say anything so there's better something than nothing I believe this is it let me know in the comments down below see you soon and good night